All right, everyone. So for our first day of class, this is a uh, WordPress e-commerce with WordPress part one. We're going to get the basics of, of WordPress. But let me show you what we're going toward, what our end goal is. Your computer should be on, and we have all the web browsers at the bottom here. Go ahead and click any web browser. Open a web browser, and then we will go to the website. This is for one of the clients that my company works with. We have a bunch of clients, and we do different things. And this is one of the ones that's the most full featured. We did their website. <coughs> We do their blog writing, we do their social media, their photography, their logo, all of that stuff. Other ones are maybe just the website, other ones are maybe just social media, others are maybe logo. This, these guys over here are full featured. You might have heard of them. They are a Mexican food restaurant. This is the website aquiestexcoco.com. Mexican food restaurant. They started in Tijuana in 1990. They came to San Diego in about 2008 or 9, I think. Uh, they hired us in about 2010. Then they um, expanded over to Los Angeles 2015, 14 maybe. Uh, so they've been doing well. They've been doing really well. They've been actually featured on on the travel channel, the cooking channel, local news, Rachel Ray has written about them, they've been rated on Zagat, great reviews on Yelp, etc. This is a full featured client that is a great example that I give to all my classes because this website is made in WordPress. This website uses the software that we're going to talk about in month two, the e-commerce software. This class has a, uh, this, this uh, client has a blog. A blog is valuable for SEO. This client engages in social media. Social media is valuable for SEO. So all the things that I teach about in these free classes, we do this for this client, not for free. And we can show concretely that our job, doing the website, doing social media, doing blogging, whatever, translates directly to more sales for for the company more fame more visitors more sales whenever for example we post on Facebook about a certain meal like the the grilled quail the owner can show us at the cash register that that week quail sold more because people see it people see a tasty photo of the food they go buy it and notice the website has order online so this is a WordPress website, all original graphics and photos and text and such. And um, WordPress can create a variety of types of websites, basic, static, business card websites, advanced shopping cart websites, blog websites, e-commerce websites, everything in between. That's why that's what I teach in this class. That's why our company mostly focuses on WordPress websites. When we started off in 2009 uh, in this company, um, we were usually making websites in Dreamweaver, which is a very good software to make a website. But the problem would be that the client would ask us, for example, this looks great, but can we make a change here? This, this should be called you know, personal events. Can you make a change? No problem, they make the change. Then they say, okay, can you change this, can you change that? And eventually all of these changes, they say, well, can we make the change ourselves? Can I log in as the owner and make a change here? We say, yes, here's your passwords, here's your login, here's everything. All you need is Dreamweaver and make the change. And they say, what's Dreamweaver? So they couldn't edit their own websites with Dreamweaver software. It's more of professional software. So eventually software like WordPress came out, which allowed professionals to make websites and non-professionals to build a website, to edit a website, to update a website, maintain a website. So that's why now our company pretty much exclusively uses WordPress. It uh, also has a great price. Dreamweaver traditionally would be a couple hundred dollars. More recently it's part of a subscription package for about $49 a month. 
$149, you get Dreamweaver, Photoshop, Flash, all of that great software, but it's $50 a month or so. WordPress is the very attractive price of $0. WordPress doesn't cost anything. The software itself to make websites doesn't cost anything. We'll talk about it later where other things do cost, such as your domain name and hosting and all of that. And what does that mean? We'll talk about it later. But to buy your little piece of the internet, that's not free. Yes, some companies sell, uh, give you a free version of it. Don't bother with the free stuff. You get what you pay for, especially with getting a piece of the internet. It's going to be slow. They might put ads on it. It might get hacked. You want to go to the more professional companies. Again, we'll talk about this later. But that's the rationale. We're going to learn WordPress. We use it professionally. It's very powerful, full-featured. I'll show a variety of clients. They almost all use WordPress. Here's a client that you get hungry. You order online, and it's it's easy to do. Yes. Is that made with WordPress? That's a WordPress website. That's right. Now, this uh, has many of the features that you would want for for your for your own website. I, I hold this up not to show off. I hold this off for you. Look at this website. Look at what it's done. These are things that you should do for your own website too. Uh, you know, when you, if you take the SEO class, we talk about writing content for the search engines and people to find. We talk about optimizing graphics. We talk about social media. We talk about blogging and all the things that you need to do to get found. When someone searches Google, when someone searches Bing, Yahoo, whatever, search engines. People search on the search engines to find what they need. Less and less people get that phone book, the one that they give us that we don't want anymore. Less people use the phone book, more people use the search engine. You need to optimize for the search engine. So this is an example of a site for a client that we practice what we preach. If you want to take a quick look, what are we going to end up with in this class? At the top right corner, click Order Online. First you have to choose LA or San Diego. This doesn't deliver the food at the moment. You order the food and then you pick it up at the restaurant. But you can still use what we're going to learn to ship products throughout the county, throughout the nation, throughout the world. You can use what we're going to learn to sell virtual products. Let's say you're a musician. You want to sell your music off your website. You can use what we'll learn here too. Let's say you do videos, motivational videos. That's a virtual product as well. It's not a real thing that you're going to mail. It's a virtual product. So you can sell real products, virtual products. You can do, sometimes people ask, well, what about donations and, and things like that? You can do that as well. Gift certificates, coupons, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Services too, like events? Yes. Events. Yes, definitely. You can create events and, uh, you know, anything tangible or not. In this example, for, ex uh, for example, we've got uh, this product, Tortilla Soup, little picture of it. You click, it gets nice and big to entice you to buy it. Description. We have variations here, the 10 ounce one or the 20 ounce one. Let's say we'll get 10 ounce. Let's say we'll get one for the whole class. 20. Add to cart. And then we can go to checkout or continue shopping, add more stuff to our shopping cart. Then it goes through the usual checkout process. Whoops, actually I needed 22 of them. Update that. Calculates your tax, total price. Put in your, your billing and contact info. Again, for this particular client, it's more of a pickup. You order it, and it's ready for you, either to sit down and eat or for you to take it away. Eventually, they're going to have takeout and delivery and such, but here's what it is so far. All of these fields that you can set up, specify your meet options, pick up time, all of that, purchase. And then it goes off to put your credit card, and you bought it. It's mobile friendly, so if you look at it on your mobile device, it works there really well as well. That's again the power of WordPress, basically. Uh, nowadays, you want your website to look good on a mobile device, smartphone or tablet. More and more and more traffic 
to, to websites is going through a mobile device. If you take the SEO class, there we learn basically that the search engines now are saying, if your website is not mobile friendly, you're going to suffer. You're not going to crack the top 10 like we all want to. Um, and the reason for that is more and more people are using these. I'm out on the road, I look up a restaurant, I find its website, I order. Or I look up something online, I need to find a, uh, a babysitter, I'm, I'm on the road, I, I look it up here, I find their website, I contact them. If your website is not mobile friendly, it could really, you could really suffer. And WordPress makes it much more easier nowadays to make a mobile friendly website. So that's one client. Let's look at another example of what you could do with WordPress and e-commerce. You can go over to swapdots.com, s-w-o-p-d-o-t-z.com, swapdots. This is custom wrist, custom wristbands for gifts, party favors, and events, and handmade stuffed animals. Yes. Do you do teach Twitter Bootstrap? Uh, no. We, I do teach responsive, yes, but Twitter Bootstrap is not the only way to do it. So specifically, we're not talking about Bootstrap in this class, but we still are talking about responsive web design. Swapdots.com. This is another of our clients. Here they sell a different kind of product. These are buttons, wristbands. So you buy these wristbands for party favors and such. You can buy different little buttons for them. Customize them also. You can put your own initials on them, your company logo. You know, these are great for company events. Everyone's got a little wristband for the company or parties, party favors and such. Also, stuffed animals, handmade stuffed animals shipped throughout the U.S. This is another WordPress website. I see this product here. I can zoom in and see the details of the product, add to cart, only one left. I like this, I want to share it to my friends and family on Pinterest, I can pin it. Related products, I bought one, you might also like this one. I bought that one, why not buy that one? This is cross-selling and upselling. <coughs> I've got a product, I want to recommend people to buy another one, that's cross-selling. You bought this one, why not buy you know, the accompaniment for it, cross-selling. There's upselling. If you're going to buy this one for $14, why not buy this one for $20 and it comes with something extra? That's upselling. So we'll be able to do that as well. Cross-selling, upselling, grouping items together, coupons, variations. Right here we have a kitten, white. Well, we might have a white kitten, a black kitten, a tabby kitten, calico kitten, different versions of the kitten. So we can sell variations of products, just like we had variations of the soup over here. 10 ounce, 20 ounce. And then this has a whole checkout feature as well, and takes debit cards, credit cards, etc like a real store. A person can create an account. So they create an account and then they can log in and all their purchases are there and they can purchase a product again or they can go as a guest. Let's check one more here. ElsaValencia.com This is an up-and-coming jewelry designer. Elsa makes her 10 karat uh, jewelry herself and great designs and concepts for sale on her site. Ships them to you. A very clean, elegant, modern site, really focused on the photography. There's a blog here. So you can read upon the pieces, read about the pieces. Um, subscribe, follow on social media. I can go to the blog to read the 
inspiration behind the pieces, why they're so meaningful, I can go to the shop, and then again I can see the I can see the products, add to cart, check out, So those are three examples of some of our clients in that they have some product to sell online. We saw food, we saw uh, jewelry, we saw stuffed animals. Um, maybe the site is having a little trouble at the moment, but various things to sell, good services products, real or virtual. And so hopefully, showing some examples here, I've uh, maybe convinced you this is a good idea. I want to learn WordPress, I want to make my own website, I want to sell my products, my services or my brand, or whatever. Now oftentimes, in most of my classes, I talk in terms of business, your business, your product, your brand, but uh, I just use that term very generically you can apply what we're learning here to anything. Your nonprofit organization, your, uh, you know, you're selling your watercolor paintings, uh, you've got a band that needs gigs, anything like that you can apply this stuff to. So don't get put off if I'm always talking about business and product and all of that. It's anything that you're trying to have a monetary transaction for online. Donations, for example. Donate to my nonprofit organization to save the animals. And um, by showing you these various websites and the variety of, of kinds of websites, these are the e-commerce ones. Here's just one more. This one doesn't have an e-commerce component. We seem to deal with a lot of companies that have hard names to, to write. Uh, but these guys, Italianissimo Trattoria, they are another restaurant. Uh, very good food. They have a website in WordPress, but it doesn't have e-commerce. I'm showing you can do many things with WordPress. But all of these look different, look unique, have their product or their entity online, and it's all from what we're going to learn in this class. And so before we go further, I have to ask you, are you sure you want to sell products online? And the reason I ask for that is because, let's take the example of the most well-known realtor online, Amazon.com. Let's say you're going to buy something on Amazon. You can buy anything there. It used to be just books and then CDs and DVDs. You can buy baby diapers now and cat food and uh, everything. You can buy everything, car parts, everything on Amazon, real or virtual. So ebooks and music and everything. Now let's say you bought a physical product on Amazon. And the process is you go on Amazon, you find the product, add to cart, put your credit card, you bought it. Then you wait a few days or weeks or whatever, and then you get the product at your doorstep and you're happy. Well, between putting your credit card in and getting the product is a huge process that now we are in charge of. The process is, I put my credit card in, some bank or other monetary agency has to get in the middle to vouch that you have the money, number one. So some sort of credit card processor is in the mix. The credit card processor or debit card processor vouches for you. The money gets transferred from your account to Amazon's account. Then the computer system in Amazon says, paid. And then it sends a message to a person, most likely a robot, in the warehouse to get that product off the shelf, onto the conveyor belt, over to the shipping department. That gets wrapped up, sent over to the post office or FedEx or UPS, whatever then that gets moved across the country or across the world train, boat, truck, whatever gets to the local post office then the local letter carrier brings it to you and you're happy So all of that stuff in the middle now you're in charge of you're in charge of the credit card processing you're in charge of the uh, cyber security of it all you're in charge of the product storage and fulfillment which is shipping and handling and taxing and all of that, getting it to the post office or FedEx or whatever, and then they take care of it, and it gets to the customer, and they're happy. And if at any point in that chain anything breaks, the customer's not happy, that could hurt you. So I ask again, 
are you sure you want to sell products online? Now, I'm not trying to get you to run out the door screaming, but now you're going to need to be Amazon. You're going to need to be up to everything, up to date with everything like Amazon. A good website that works, cybersecurity, credit card processings, processors, which are not free, taxing and shipping. You should be taxing this stuff. Do you have a business license or not? Technically, you don't need one, but that's something to talk about. You need to deal with the shipping costs and the delays and the customer service and the returns and everything. Question? Yeah. I personally have been to Udemy. Udemy? Mm -hmm. right? And they have plenty of programs. Mm -hmm. I, I signed up for Udemy. I sent them an application which they rejected. Right? Mm -hmm. They sent them my website stuff. It's incomplete. Mm -hmm. right? And so that's why I'm here. Great. I can make a big employee for Udemy because I'm very impressed with Udemy. Great, definitely. And also that I'm going to tweet about you today. So I'm going to write, I'm very interested in those social media, blah, blah, blah. Does that make sense? Yes, definitely. Part one is going to be the one that's most important for you, the basics of WordPress to make a good website. Part two might not be as much because we're going to focus on the products. But you're welcome to just take part one and not part two. That's fine. And then you take the social media class and all of that and you'll learn how to use that effectively. Part two be the Apple. It could be applicable because you could, on the side, continue to try to sell yourself as some sort of online educator. You don't have to go to Udemy to be the middleman. You could do it yourself on your own website where you make your own video oh, tutorials okay. and such on your own website. Cut them out. So that's why I bring up, are you sure you want to be the next Amazon? Because that's what you're going to need to be. You could do pretty well for yourself on Etsy, on eBay, on Amazon, uh, PayPal, etc. You could sell, you could sell products, goods and services, whatever, through these intermediaries. The downside of that is they take a cut. Every time you, you know, you, I don't know the current structure of Etsy, but you create an Etsy shop and they're going to take some cut of that sale. Um, there's other stores that focus on other ways to sell, like Redbubble, for example, that sells, a, right there you can sell your own t-shirts and stuff. They take a cut. Um, what else? Um, Cafe Press and such. There's lots of companies out there that will help you sell, but they're going to take a cut. So one of the reasons why you might want to go off on your own is you're going to take more of the cut yourself. You're not going to be paying these other companies for the hosting as much as they're going to charge you or the processing and, and all of that. You, you can pocket more of it if you do it yourself. The big downside is now you're going to need to be a web designer and a web developer, a server administrator, tech support, all of that stuff. And it may be a big endeavor, but I think you can do it because the, the way to do it nowadays is much easier than ever. This class and my other classes. And so we're going to learn the basics of WordPress and then how to make it all uh, e-commerce friendly. I have a question. Yes. Um, what is, is it good for, like, if, I have a, if I'm not doing it exactly for myself but for someone else as a client that sells product online, so that people come to me and say, you don't have to do that work. Yes, exactly. This class can be basically for two people, those that want to do it themselves for themselves, their company, or the others are people that want to learn how to do this for other people to get a job doing it. So all my classes work like that too. Take the SEO class to learn how to do it so you can get hired to do it for clients. Okay, eventually the site loaded up here. If you did get a chance to see it, Elsa's site, you'll see again products, descriptions, add to cart, so forth. Yes. Would you recommend taking your, these two classes that you refer us to uh, at once or uh, one, two, three? Sequence. It's really up to yourself because you have to ask yourself, are you going to be able to put in the investment of seven hours a week of lectures, you know, three hours, three and a half hours here, three and a half hours the other class? Do you have the time to come for it? And are you going to be able to learn two things at once? Um, it's doable. I get people that take two or three of my classes at once. I see them every day. Uh, and other people, they take this one class and then come back next month because they often cycle in and out every month. If you can't catch it this month, come back next month or maybe in two months. It'll be there again. So it's going to be up to you. Come and 
Come the first day or so, see how you like it, and if you don't, come back when it's more opportune. Yes? Yes. Tangential here, but the Chinese government just announced a week or two ago they would put a million students through school to learn e commerce. So obviously, they think that it's important. There's going to be a huge influx soon, and it would be better if you learned it before they do. Well, that's definitely, that's definitely been happening, this e-commerce explosion. It's been happening a while. Amazon celebrated 20 years now. Yeah. It's hard to believe. Amazon's been around 20 years. Uh, so those of us that got into this game on the ground floor are, are ahead of others. But it's not so bad that you're behind everyone. You can still always learn this, this class and many other classes. I know that this college teaches more than one WordPress class. I don't know what they teach in the other ones. I recommend you take as many as you can. Knowledge is power, especially free knowledge. So you might as well, if you've got the time, take the classes and, and get educated on all this stuff and maybe make a career choice, a transition, and it might work out. If not, at least you learn something fun. So um, in general, this these are some examples of clients. Oh, and then very lastly, then we'll take a break if you just want to see uh, our own website, like I said, pmpinteractive.com. It's currently in version uh, 3.0 in the back end. It's not the, the latest version is not out just yet. Uh, we're updating and that's always the case. Uh, how does the saying go? The, the cobbler's children have no shoes. Uh, so we're busy making websites for everyone else. We haven't updated ours in a little while. But version 3 is coming soon. We're testing it right now and everything. But here you can see other examples in the portfolio. And again, we practice what we preach. There's a blog here. We do social media. It's a WordPress site. Nothing to be sold here specifically, but there is a request to quote and all of that. So again, WordPress. I, I don't work for the WordPress company. I don't get any kickback from them. I just highly recommend them because they really are the big one. 25% global market share. Hundreds of millions of websites globally. Any questions so far? Do you uh, customize all your sites and start with templates and deconstruct them or you know, anything? Oh, really good point here. Let me let me pull up my notepad here. I'm going to write some notes. I'm going to make my notes available to you in the network folder later on. So I'm going to write a couple notes here. You can also write yourself. Um, that's a good point there. Uh, basically. In my opinion, there are three levels of WordPress. Uh, level one is use a uh, pre-made theme and customize minimally. WordPress.com. What that means is that we've got a theme that the authors of the theme have let us customize it to some degree. Oftentimes these pre-made themes look really nice, but if I can download it, so can a thousand other people. So my site looks like theirs. Oftentimes the theme authors let us customize somewhat. Put my own background picture, put my own sidebar widgets and such. That's level okay. one. And if we do that for a client, that's the most affordable way. Level two, use a pre-made premium theme. Premium theme means it's not free. Oftentimes you can get many great themes for free. But because people love free stuff, a lot of people might have downloaded that same free theme. The next level up is to use a pre-made premium theme that's been designed specifically already for e-commerce or whatever. And customize that also, but that one is Customize, what's the opposite of minimally? Maximally. Customize it maximally in that we go in and the theme author might have made a button that says click here to edit your background, but no button that says click here to edit your text color. Well, level two is that we customize it maximally, meaning we get in there and rewrite the code. We go in there, pull back the curtain, we write the code and fully customize it to someone's specifications. That's like taking a fixer-up house, because it's in a great location, great neighborhood, like the structure and such, but we're going to then put in our own cabinets, and we're going to put in our own flooring, and really update it. Level one 
in that metaphor is that you buy that home and you just slap on a coat of paint and you're done. Level two is that you redo the kitchen, do the new driveway, etc. And that one, of course, is more expensive, specifically because of the editing of code. And then the third level, customs theme from scratch. That's writing all the code from scratch using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, all of the code that WordPress is made out of. So that one is the one that's a little more, a little more expensive. So when a client comes to us and they need a website, we tell them this. Here's the three levels. Basic, intermediate, advanced. And we don't recommend the third level. Even though we're going to profit from it so much, we still don't recommend it. We still don't tell them. You need level three, you need a custom theme with all custom code. Because we tell them, instead of spending that $5,000 that you were going to spend for that website by itself just to set it up, that $5,000 could also be, if you go to the middle level, that 5000 could also be partly used to talk to work with a little bit of SEO, a little bit of blogging, a little bit of social media. So why spend all of that money just to make a theme that no one in the world has? And that's not the only thing. Remember, if you, if you build it, they will not come. If you build it and advertise it, they will come. So I'm, not, I'm just throwing out some values right there, 5000 and such. But it really varies depending on the client. Not to show off, but I worked on a $10,000 website. <coughs> I worked on a $250 website and everywhere in between because it really depends on what the client needs. And the e-commerce stuff is always on the high end. It's much more advanced. Uh, so to answer your question, did, did that answer your question? Okay. So in this class, we're going to be working with the uh, one and two. We're not going to get into three. That's other classes. That's the feud class we offer here the front-end web developer class, the one that's 18 weeks long, hardcore code and all of that. We're not going to get to that far. We don't need to. We can use level one. You can use level one to make a good website, to sell products, to customize it to some degree that it doesn't look like everyone else's, but you're not going to get every single amount of control. It is most cost-effective. We just landed a client recently, a La Jolla biotech firm, where we told them again, we can do level three, it's going to be much more expensive, and they had the money for it, but we said, we recommend level two. We're going to sit down together, we're going to look at pre-made premium themes together, we're going to pick the one you like, and then we're going to do our magic and recode it to the degree that it's going to be what you want. And you say, well, if you're going to recode it, why don't you start from scratch? WordPress is very advanced. It has a lot of built-in features and modules and such. To start to program that all from scratch, your budget's going to get so used up, you don't have it for the advanced stuff. Really, my company recommends level two. Plenty of them out there are going to recommend level three. They're going to say, you have to get your own custom code. Honestly, that might be too expensive. Save that money for the other parts of it, because it's not just a website anymore. Do you have a website? Did you do SEO for it? Are you blogging? Are you also on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, blah, blah, blah? You spent all your money just on the website? Well, that's why you're not getting traffic. Any other questions? All right, let's, uh, let's take our first break. I'm going to turn the printer back on in case you want the, the syllabus. And I'm going to give you a couple of more handouts that you might want to print. Let's go back to the folder where the handouts are at. Open up computer. Actually, let me put the handouts there before I tell you where to go. Okay, so you want to open computer window, top left. You then want to go to the network location, classroom data drive Z, as in zebra. Scroll down alphabetically to find Campos, WordPress 1, and I've got some new things there. You want to drag these to your desktop. I've got Campos e-commerce instruction 1 and 2. Drag those to your desktop or flash drive. 
And this will change a little bit if you're on the Mac. So I've got Mac instructions in that folder. If you don't have a Mac, don't worry about that folder. But here, we're going to need the Windows instructions, which is number one and number two. Whatever we're going to learn here, I recommend you do it at home. That's why I'm giving you instructions. That's why I'm recording it all. If you're only doing it in class, you know, the saying is, use it or lose it. So if you're waiting a whole week from class to class and you're not doing this at home, you're going to lose it and you're going to struggle. So I give you these instructions, I record the videos, I recommend you do it at home. For the moment, drag a copy of those two files to your desktop. I'm going to turn the printer on in a moment, we'll take a break. You want to look at those. Don't follow the instructions yet. We'll do it together. But uh, those are my files. Let's take a break. It's 136. We'll be back at 146. I highly recommend you print 1 and 2, and we'll go on at 147.